real life problems we encounter many straight lines with interact with which interact with each other for example in the analysis of the computational fluid dynamic analysis of a formula 1 car involves uh, drawing lines which represent the flow of air around the design of the car and so these lines intersect at different angles and depending upon how they intersect and the angles which they intersect we come to know whether the design require uh, meets the requirements or not and so it is important to study how lines intersect with each other and how to find out the points of intersection of lines so here's a little treatment on that so as this cfd grid diagram shows you have many small small dots around a formula 1 car these are all basically straight lines intersecting each other as you can see you have straight lines coming over this way which represent the flow of air around the car and the lines will bend around the design of the car in such a way that it simulates the flow of air around this car so that maximum aerodynamic stability is obtained okay so this is where it all starts suppose we have two lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 the point of intersection of these two lines which are assumed to be non parallel lines is obtained by solving the simultaneous linear equations representing the two lines so if we obtain the point x1 comma y1 so this one point is common to both the lines this is the only point which is common to both the lines and so this point represents the point of intersection of the two lines what if there are three lines now with three lines it gets a little bit more complicated but then it is possible that three lines also intersect at one single point when that happens the three lines are called concurrent lines in fact it's not just restricted to three lines any number of lines if they intersect each other at a single point these lines are called concurrent lines so with respect to three lines suppose we have the lines l1 l2 and l3 l1 being a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 l2 being a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 and so on these are three straight lines and they intersect at a point if the following conditions are met the determinant formed by their coefficients that is a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 and a3 b3 c3 equals 0 that is we get a determinant whose value equals 0 then they are said to be concurrent lines and this is called the condition of concurrency of the three lines